name is Daniela Stefinski, and I'm the Michigan delegate with Expedition Copenhagen, a partnership between Will Steger Foundation and Stonyfield Farm. And yesterday, a bunch of Will Steger Foundation delegates and some Kenyan youth delegates met to compile a letter to President Obama asking him to really listen to the personal stories of those affected by climate change. And it was really awesome to come together with them because it turns out that we collected position statements from young people during the presentations we gave during the fall. And the Kenyan delegation also collected position statements from young people in their country, and specifically from the village where uh, Obama's father was born and raised. So that was just a really powerful connection that the two groups have together. So we decided that we needed to, to do something with these. And so the U.S. letters were compiled in a book that we brought with us, and the letters from Kenya were put on a giant poster board, and we just took stories from both um, both countries and put them in this letter drafted to Obama. And the two stories were about people directly affected by climate change. The first one was from Papa, who has a friend uh, in Kenya who is a cattle herder, and both of his, um, or all of his cattle were killed at one season season through a big flood and then a drought immediately afterward. So as you can tell, that's an extremely direct effect of climate change. And then the other story was my, my personal story, which is that of my father. Uh, he is a union electrician in Detroit, Michigan, and has been out of work for two years because of the economic depression we have right now. And he can really uh, have a great job if we pass international and domestic climate legislation. Um, so both of them are just compelling stories that we wanted to share with Obama so that when he comes to Copenhagen, he understands that the political processes don't really encompass what is really happening on the ground in the people's lives. And that's really what he's negotiating here, the survival of all people. So it was successfully put together, and it was given to an Obama aide last night by a group of Kenyan and U.S. youth. And we are sending out press releases today and hoping that uh, Obama gets it and reads it today before he makes his final. We're here to serve you.